Also, I just wanted to do a quick shout out to um, the Tim Tracker, Tim and Jen, and also um, View from the Cheap Seats. I'll put a link to both of those in the video here. Um, it's one of the reasons why I started doing these videos. I've been watching you guys' vlogs lately, and it's given me kind of a reason to get out and do things instead of just sit on my butt and do nothing, which is what I've done for a lot of the summer. So, um, anyway, thanks you guys, and yeah, well, hopefully, maybe one of you guys will see this. So, I'm going to try and experiment with this uh, hike. I'm going to drink this. Instead of afterwards, I'm going to drink it beforehand because it's a huge 23 ounce beer and um, I don't really want to drive drunk afterwards. I don't think I don't think hiking drunk is a crime. I don't know, but we'll find out. Well, probably not, but the more you know. how popular this trail is. It's like 5.30 and there's still so many people. I think I might be entertaining people with my beer nonsense. Everyone's looking at me like, what? what's that guy doing with a beer? I... Okay, so I've already downed two thirds of this beer. And it's decidedly more fun hiking this lower section of the trail when you're beer drunk. It's awesome. Let's go this Alaskan Icy Bay IPA. It's pretty tasty. It's good stuff. And seeing all these people with Seahawks jerseys on, and I don't know whether to tell them that we lost today. Everyone's wearing gear because we were playing, but I don't know if they know we lost. Oh. Uh, there's the view. Here's one of the old pilings for the um, old ski area. There's the concrete there. There's a bunch of wood here. There used to be some kind of hut or something. And there's the view down into the valley. Beautiful. Okay, now I'm about two thirds of the way there, but there's no time to stop. I gotta get to the top and get the sunset. I'm gonna catch the sunset. This is the best part of the day. Well, I think I missed the cutoff for the scramble route somewhere, but I think up this way um, may go to the ridge where the scramble is. So let's try that. Now I'm on the ridge and those yellow marks right there and right here and there's one right on the corner of this rock that means scramble here let's go there's the lookout building closer but you don't want to fall off while you're scrambling that would be bad oh sun is setting uh, but lookout building is up there I gotta make it so here we are, Mount Pilchuck Lookout. Beautiful. Here's the view up to the north, of Mount Baker. It's White Horse and Three Fingers. And here's out to the west, it's Glacier, or the east, I'm sorry, Glacier Peak. Step out here, and then there's Sloan Peak, uh, Mount Pew is over there, all the Monte Cristo peaks, all that good stuff. I'll take you on a little tour here around. Here's another view to the south, Mount Rainier over there, and then there's the sound and the sun. It's about to set, but here's the lookout building. It's a pretty nice 
building. It's got all the windows intact. The Everett Mountaineers look after it. Here's the summit register. It's kind of a mess. There's, uh, some people outside. And it's got these neat little reader boards that show you which mountains are which and what all the bodies of water are and everything. Mount Baker you can see. And there's Mount Baker right there. And my backpack can't fit, so we gotta go separately. Here I come. I'm up on top. I'm on the Woo! What a sunset. going down. the aftermath of the sunset. Nice uh, Olympic mountains and the sound out there.